we are here with Gigi Datome from Fenerbahce Doge. Hello. Congratulations for the Final Four again. You are, Thank you. You are going to compete in the Final Four again with the Fenerbahce. Are you excited? What, what should we expect from this year's Final Four? <laughs> no, very excited to be part of the, the best teams in Europe again. Um, I'm very proud of this. Uh, from outside line, now looks like that is uh, granted an automatic that you are in Final Four, but it's not like that. There's a lot of work behind, and um, we deserve this, so I'm very proud of this. What to expect? Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> As you told us, uh, there was a lot of work work behind it, and we know that you played with 100%. You have to, you had to play with 100% from each game because all teams wanted to beat you because you are the regional champs. So. What, how was that pressure? How did you deal with that to bring it 100% in all games? Because in the Basketball Super League, it's too tough also and you managed to clinch the first spot of the regular season. Um, yes, uh, but also last year, I remember, there was a lot of pressure on us. Uh, we lost the previous final at the overtime, so still everybody wanted to beat us. Uh, but. Since I'm here, uh, this is the mentality we face every every game. Everybody wants to beat us in Europe, everybody wants to beat us in Turkish League. Um, and it's something good that uh, don't allow you to relax and um, push you to work every day. And uh, I'm lucky that I have a group of guys that uh, we push each other and we work uh, very hard uh, every day, also because of coaches pushing us. Um, so this is uh, the mentality that we create in the team. Uh, and I'm very happy of of course, that after a lot of work, also results are coming. Uh, Final Four is a result, but also to be first in such a competitive league uh, uh, is another result. So, um, of course, we don't want to stop now. And about the Final Four, you are going to face with Zalgiris Kaunas, which is the Cinderella story of this uh, Euroleague season. Uh, how do you uh, evaluate this series? What should Fenerbahce be careful? against Zalgiris because uh, in, th in the game that played in here they managed to beat you in here but, so what should you do to beat them in March to final? Um, not be a tough game is a it's a single game, everything can happen, they are a very good team, uh, very good team, they deserve to be in Final Four, they play a very good season and it was very nice to watch them playing, a very tough team, they play together, uh, very smart player. Um, but also, of course, we, uh, we are a kind of this team that like to play hard and to play um, together as a team. So I think it will be a very nice matchup. Um, there is a lot of stuff to take care of, uh, we have some time to prepare. Um, but uh, I'm always confident in work and uh, I'm confident that we'll be prepared to, um, to this 40 minutes semi-final. And about the pro uh, preparation process, I believe it's an advantage to have Zalsko Brodovic in your side. Right, generally <laughs> I, don't mean, I don't want to uh, I say talk good about my coach because it's like you want to talk good about your teacher, no? Um, <laughs> but uh, yes, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be his player. And uh, is another um, uh, motivation why we're going to be very well prepared because uh, every day we prepare very good, every meeting, every practice, every game. And we have a little time to prepare this game. And uh, of course, he has a lot of experience for this game. So I'm sure that we're going to be ready. And then everything can happen, of course. And about the fan support, Fenerbahce fans almost bought all the tickets in the Belgrade and it will be like the Ulker Arena. So what what do you want to say them again ahead of this Final Four? No, they always, they, they don't surprise me anymore, our <laughs> fans. Uh, I always say that they are a very big part of our success. Um, I know they're going to be noisy, so I don't need really to tell them nothing. Uh, but I'm very happy that they came. Uh, some somebody of them are, were really confident. They took tickets before we qualified, yeah. so um, that's impressive. And uh, I think that's our goal to make them uh, proud of, of us again. To, uh, so they are happy. We are happy, and uh, uh, this is why we're here uh, to make everybody happy, to be ourselves happy, winning games and titles. And um, this is our daily focus. And the song that they are chanting for you is one of the best yes. fan songs I've heard. Uh, what would you like to say no, about I, this? I, I love it. Too. I love it too, and it's very, you know, it's fun, it's nice. Yeah. 
when uh, you receive love from the families, everything is nice, and this song is very nice too. And what's the most important thing you have learned from Zasko Brodovic, both as a person and as a uh, player? We don't have time. <laughs> uh, as a person, to be honest, um, to be honest with uh, with yourself, to respect yourself, to be honest with your teammates, to be, uh, respect your teammates, uh, fans, uh, uh, this kind of values, values like a person, and uh, like a coach that uh, everything is motivation and concentration. This is just to be short.